to Restricted Republic. My name is Justin. I can't thank you enough for being here. I got a question for you. Do you like being mocked? You know, I don't like being mocked. I take exception with it. You should too. Well, I titled this video very simply, Game Over, Biden Busted Mocking Americans, and he did. Two bombshell memos released that contain unthinkable statements in them. Should have America going crazy right now, but that's not happening. Should have social media blowing up everywhere. Wait, well, well hold on now. Because if we use social media, the administration will be listening to us and fact-checking us per the administration themselves. So maybe we could start to understand the confusion. But you see what we're, all the confusion stemming from is a void of leadership right now. You see, we have this one party running the country. And when I say one party, I mean the whole of Congress with limited exceptions. Because if we didn't have that, we'd have congressional leaders standing up in front of America daily, spending every hour and waking minute they have explaining to America the Constitution, the violations of our privacy and our rights. But that's not happening, is it? You know why? Because there is a void of any real leadership. And hence, we have what's happening today. And it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you sit on. It's happening to everyone. So we're going to get to those two memos and those statements that should have America blowing up right now, but rather we have crickets once again. Well, when I'm done here, there won't be crickets in this audience as there normally never is. So before we go any further, I got to ask you a huge favor. You know what? I don't ask for donations. There's good reason for that. Rather, I wanted to provide my audience something in return. It's the way I do business. And that's something's restrictedrepublic.com you see flashing around me right now. It's where we can provide you the information we're no longer allowed to provide anywhere else because it appears some of the tech titans and also the administration wants to fact check everything we say. And if it simply disagrees with the agenda, then it's off. That's unfortunate, but why we create a restricted republic. Right now, we're offering you two discount codes. Discount code FREEDOM24 months for $5 a month, 14 days for free, or discount code SAVE10 at annual checkout. Save $10 off the annual subscription, also 14 days for free. All subscriptions auto-renew. Make sure you get over there and you'll see quickly why 30,000 foot news, it's unfiltered and uncensored, plus all these videos with no commercials and interruptions. It's the only place you need for your source for real news without all the noise, because we work hard to eliminate that and give you the things that really affect your life on a daily basis. Get over to restrictedrepublic.com. Join us on all these social media websites so we can at least attempt to communicate with you on the ones that still allow. And please don't forget to subscribe on whatever channel you're watching this video. It would mean the world to me. Now let's get on with this broadcast. Headline reads on Fox News, Biden calls for hiring more police, cracking down on illegal guns to combat crime. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Biden calls for hiring more police and to put more police officers on the beat. Now, I must be living in an alternate universe because I could have swore that that wasn't always the position of Biden. Well, we know it wasn't the position of Biden because I'll prove it to you here in just a second. But nonetheless, that is coming off this memo. Remarks by President Biden discussing his administration's comprehensive strategy to reduce gun crime. So what did Biden say exactly within this memo? He starts out, folks, I want to start by recognizing the remarkable protests that are taking place in Cuba with the Cuban people demanding their freedom from an authoritarian regime. And I don't think we've seen anything like this protest in a long, long time. Hmm. Just do on that for a moment. Think about that statement. I mean, he's thanking those people for demanding their freedom from an authoritarian regime. I guess that only applies to other countries. But this was the same man who's, though the, the attack that was worse, was worse since the Civil War. Well, it appears again he's changed his position. But we'll go further in this memo, same one. Remarks from Biden. It states, the United States stands firmly with the people of Cuba as they assert their universal rights. Wait, they're allowed universal rights, freedoms. Hmm. And we call on government, the government of Cuba, to refrain from violence or attempts to silence the voice of the people of Cuba. Oh, it's painful. It's painful. It is painful to read these headlines. It is literally painful. And why is it painful? Because you, like us, follow the headlines and you would know that the DNC, Biden allies, want phone carriers to vet messages. Usually nothing more to be said, but this comes off of this Politico article, potentially a death sentence. White House goes off on blank fear mongers. 
The White House has decided to hit back harder on misinformation and scare tactics after Republican lawmakers and conservative activists pledged to fight the administration's stated plans to go door-to-door to increase jab rates. The pushback will include directly calling out social media platforms and conservative news shows that promote such tactics. Well, if I just back up a second here, the United States stands firmly with the people of Cuba as they assert their universal rights. And the government of Cuba should refrain from violence or attempts to silence the voice of the people. But yet here, you should silence the voice of the people. It's, it's impossible not to highlight these things. It's as black and white as it could be. These are very clear-cut examples of what the Biden administration is stating within these memos from his desk. He goes on within that memo, but the purpose of the meeting today is we've convened a group of law enforcement and other community leaders, including mayors of the of our cities. One, to thank them for their service because we owe them big time. Second, to hear directly from each of them about reducing violent crime and particularly gun violence in our communities. He doesn't stop there, by the way. So back to this memo from Biden, the desk of Biden. But the purpose of the meeting today is we've convened a group of law enforcement and other community leaders, including mayors of uh, our cities, one, to thank them for their service because we owe them big time, second, to hear directly from each of them about reducing violent crime. Well, yeah, they have an issue in the big cities. So Biden came out, announced a slate of gun control actions, claims public health crisis, but that's not all he did. We expect nothing less than that. So back to the memo again. He states, and it includes cracking down on holding rogue gun dealers accountable for violating the federal law. Rogue gun dealers are the ones responsible for the increase in violence. So the Justice Department will be creating five new strike forces to crack down on illegal gun trafficking. So plan on more federal government in your local state and cities. But we'll go on because it's obviously just the gun dealers now, right? It has nothing to do with Chicago gang members now outnumbering cops 10 to 1. 10 to 1. Gang to police officers. Of course, they're going to send in a strike force to solve all this. It has nothing to do with retirements topping almost an all-time high, at least since 2018 in this article published by the Chicago Sun-Times. Law enforcement and being police officers have come under attack. The very movement that Biden is now, well, According to his remarks within the statement, moving against, he states, Secondly, it's supporting local law enforcement with federal support they need. Our strategy provides including funding for law enforcement through the American Rescue Plan. Funding law enforcement, hiring police, and paying them overtime. Now wait. I know. (laughs) A lot of people just fell over because they're like, wait now. Biden never said don't defund the police. I don't know what you're talking about. He's staying perfectly in line. As a matter of fact, we can go to the all-knowing Stopes here. Does Joe Biden support defunding the police? Let's see what they claim. There's Snopes up top just to validate this. We'll go down in the article and it says false. False. I need to see nothing else. Well, except for this clip. Uh, surplus military equipment for law enforcement. They don't need that. The last thing you need is an up-armored Humvee coming into a neighborhood. It's like the military invading. They don't know anybody. They become the enemy. They're supposed to be protecting these people. So my generic point is but that... Can we agree that we can redirect some of the funding? Yes, uh, absolutely. Maybe I should just play that one more time. Maybe I missed that. We agree that we can redirect some of the funding? Yes, uh, absolutely. Now remember, Snopes declared that statement to be false. Watch what you read. So did he? Yes, Joe Biden absolutely said we should defund the police and we will stay on that premise. But because he actually believes we've forgotten about all this, that we just missed all the statements he made. He believes that our intelligence is that low. Of course, they have a big problem now because they have crime surging everywhere. Their policies aren't working. Cuba's policies didn't work. The same policies that they are pushing us towards now here in America. So that is the second hypocrisy of the statements made. DOJ acknowledges staggering rise in violent crime as it rolls out efforts targeting gun trafficking. They keep staying on the same motive, but that wasn't the only statement that Biden made within the same day, by the way. 
or is going to keep going through these statements. He also stated, Cuba's authoritarian regime, the Cuban people, are bravely asserting fundamental and universal rights. Those rights include the rights of peaceful protest and the right to freely determine their own future, and that must be respected. The United States calls on Cuban regime to hear their people. It's coming from the same administration who's silencing and now verifying, calling for the verification within messaging. Our opinion would be that this is extreme hypocrisy by the administration. Because even in Cuba, when you say something they don't like, what do they do? Well, they just cut off your ability to communicate. Hmm. That was the same administration that just called for the Cuban government to listen to their people. Not hard to connect the dots here. Critics slammed Biden administration's reported plan to monitor misinformation text messages. Just want to bundle this together because Biden is mocking you. The administration, in our opinion, is mocking you. Not even indirectly. Had some lawmakers a buzz, thankfully. Lauren Bubber came out. Biden's regime announces they'll be working with SMS providers, those who provide uh, messaging services, putting it very simply here, to stop misinformation. Josh Hawley came out reporting the same. This all coming off that political article I showed you. But I guess that's not the only hypocrisy. On plane to D.C., Texas lawmakers are leaving state to break quorum to stop Republican voting bill. Veteran Capitol observers say this is uncharted territory. Except wait now when I'm asked to get on a plane. That I, I, I'm asked to wear a mask with everybody else on the plane. But I guess that doesn't apply to everybody. So maybe I should find a message from the party that you just saw there in that picture. And I'll show you again. You'll see her right there in the center. And here's her picture again with no mask. And this was the same lady who stated Georgia elected new leaders because the outgoing administration and our state executives nationwide would have failed to respond to COVID. The good news, we can curb hospitalizations by hand washing, social distancing, and wearing masks in bold. Hmm. Looks like Julie Johnson has changed her opinion also. Of course, the mainstream media tried to make this movement into the movement of just an amazing, amazing event. Texas Democrats flee the state to thwart voting restriction laws. Governor has convened special legislative session. Democrats deprived Republicans of quorum last month. They even go on. And, and you want to know one element of, of why they're fighting so hard against? Well, CNN covers it for us. I think you'll enjoy this, this one particular point that is so bad that they have to stop their session and fly to Washington, D.C. immediately, immediately drop everything. You want to hear what it is? The bill makes a strict set of mail-in voting rules even stricter. Instead of only a signature, voters applying for a mail ballot would have to provide an ID number or a statement saying they don't have one. And they'd have to provide that same info again when they cast the ballot. <sighs> they want your ID. Part of this get a mail-in ballot. Then you got to show that ID. And you show up with that mail-in ballot to prove it's you. Oh, the horror. Seriously. This is how easy this is to cover. This is how basic this is to cover. This is the hypocrisy that we are all being faced with as our government mocks us. Of course, our opinion, they mock us. What's your opinion? Just gave you two memos with, with somebody pretending like you know nothing that you've seen, that everything you've seen has been an illusion and a lie. No, nope. it's stone cold facts provided by the very people who are now going against their own word. But have we expected anything more or anything less from any of our politicians in this time of great need. I love you all. I'm going to go back now. I think I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee, try to relax, get the redness out of my face because, man, I'm telling you, it doesn't stop. It grows every day. The speed of what they're attempting grows every day. And 
man, we don't deserve as American people to be lied to this much and to have our intelligence insulted on a daily basis. It's just not right. It's not okay. And so we'll continue to bring it to you, to expose it to you. So hopefully we can start turning this nation back on to course. I love you all. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. If you haven't gotten restricted, please do. Because if you think this is hard-hitting information, you have no idea what we're able to provide on an unfiltered and uncensored format. Till next time, Godspeed and God bless Justice Knight. Signing out. <laughs>